All right, guys, just a super quick update where I am with these batteries. As you know, my last video was talking about uh, compression and fixture and how to actually build packs with these batteries such that uh, we're not stressing the terminals under normal cell expansion and contraction. Uh, so I actually have a solution I'm kind of happy with for the 230 amp hour batteries. I ended up ordering some of this neoprene foam. This is one inch wide and it's one eighth inch thick and it's neoprene closed cell high density foam. So there are two ways I'm considering using it. Just got a piece on the top and the bottom such that when I push two of these cells together, you can see there is now a 1 8 inch gap in between the two cells. This will allow the cells to expand and contract normally without putting pressure on the bus bar terminals above. And the second way I'm considering doing it is just a third strip of foam right in the middle. This is just adding a little bit of reinforcement to prevent these cells from expanding and contracting too much. So you can see I'm able to place my bus bar on top and there's still a little bit of space where it can move back and forth so I know it's secured nicely. And the other problem I was dealing with was how to connect the balance lead to these bus bars because I really didn't want to put the ring terminal underneath the serrated flange nut. So what I ended up doing is I just used a rotary tool and just sanded off a little bit of the nickel coating. And then I was able to easily solder on my balance lead and my fuse holder. So now wherever there's a series connection, I just set this down, can tighten down these two nuts, no worry about the ring terminal going under the nut, and I'm able to attach my fuse and my balance lead. And you can see here to get an idea of how this will look in practice, I plan on putting 16 of these cells in a line and still using the 3 quarter inch plywood on each end with some threaded rod. Um, I am not going to compress these, so what I'm going to do is line all the cells up like this and just tighten down the nuts on this threaded rod such that it's holding or fixing the cells in place. It will not be squeezing the cells, it will not be compressing them. So under normal circumstances, these cells should expand and contract normally. That expansion will get absorbed by the foam in between each cell, that third line of foam. And it should not really be putting any pressure on these boards. I know over time they may expand and stay expanded as the cells, you know, age and degrade and whatnot. But, uh... And then lastly, if any one of these cells expands more than the others, uh, resulting in movement of the cell, which I'm not expecting. Again, under my use case, I'm not expecting these cells to like bloat up or anything like that. But in a worst case scenario, if one of them does expand more than the others, causing a shift in the cell, again, these bus bars have this little hump in the middle. They are able to bend easily, so this bus bar can bend to absorb any movement or damage on these terminals. So that puts me back to where I'm at with the 280s. Unfortunately, I still don't have a good solution. I can space these cells apart one eighth of an inch with the same foam, which will allow them to expand and contract normally. The bus bar still fits on just fine. However, if I line several of these cells up, we still have the same problem where if one expands or contracts more than the others, so it's still going to bend, which is going to put pressure on this bar, which cannot give. So, so I'm still not 100% sure what to do with these 280 amp hour batteries. Uh, so some of the suggestions I received for these included, uh, you know, just cutting short pieces of wire and crimping lugs on the end because the wire is flexible. But having 32 of these cells, that is 64 crimps, 64 lugs, and each one of those places where you crimp it is prone to heating, no matter how good of a crimp tool you use. Um, I just don't know that I want to worry about that, not to mention the amount of lugs and crimping you have to do to get that job done. Another solution that came up, which I really like, is the braided strapping idea. Unfortunately, I can't find those ground straps that are of the right size for the right price. They're like $10, $15 a piece. Um, I know some people have said to make them yourself, which, which, you know, that's really not a bad idea. I was just looking for something more off the shelf. Other ideas included charging the cells up to 100%, lining them up, and then fixing them that way because the idea being that they will only decrease from there and you know how much space you need between them. And that idea does work great in theory, but that assumes the cells are going to expand and contract the same amount every time. And again, it's more about uh, what happens as the cells age. They're not gonna stay exactly the same throughout five, 10 years of their life. So I do need to think about and be prepared for when one of the cells degrades and ages at a different rate than the others, and maybe one expands more and starts to press the other ones apart, that stress is going to get put on this bus bar and these terminals on the top. The only way I can really think to use these is the snake-like approach, but I'd have to make all new bus bars, and if I'm going to make all new bus bars, I might as well just look into the braided strap idea. I did find for sale on AliExpress some of these bus bars that are made with a hump in the middle and multiple layers of metal that will actually fit these 280 amp hour cells. The issue with that, I guess, is these 280 amp hour cells have aluminum terminals, and if you put pure copper on pure aluminum, uh, you're going to get a reaction between the two metals, so I don't know if I can use antioxidant compound work well enough for that. Uh, so with that being said, this neoprene strip does seem to work wonderfully for the job at hand. 
So I'm gonna get the 230s assembled and hopefully by this weekend they will finally be in service. Uh, it's supposed to rain for the next two days, so what I'm gonna do is actually assemble them here on the bench, get all the BMS leads measured, crimped, cut, all that stuff done. That way I can simply take it apart and then move it to the battery shed when I'm ready to go. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those down below. Hit that like button before you go, and thanks for watching.